Since late 2009, when Bitcoin entered the financial world, there's been a lot of changes in the world of cryptocurrencies. The blockchain technology was introduced by Bitcoin. The blockchain technology is applicable to any business that requires a transaction registration record system. As a result, the traditional financial world has been challenged and transformed. Next, Omni and other coins have made it possible for their users to create custom tokens on the base of blockchain. Although tokens are not unique to any particular platform, it is an indication of a business asset. Tokens are in fact currencies, created, managed, and organized by computers. In a technological breakthrough, Ethereum brought about the next generation of blockchains. In addition to creating custom tokens, Ethereum introduced smart contracts to the world of cryptocurrencies. Smart contracts have the ability to make and process transactions without the use of a third party. Smart contracts execute all information related to the terms of the contract and run all targeted actions automatically. Despite these innovations and developments, the technology of the blockchain and cryptocurrency are facing a major problem. As Bitcoin was introduced and started using the proof-of-work system, its miners needed to perform computations for verifying transactions while extracting new coins. This high level of computation has resulted in a large-scale waste of energy. Currently, the annual consumption of electricity for mining Bitcoin and Ethereum is higher than the total energy consumption of some countries, such as Chile, Colombia, and the Czech Republic. With the development of different cryptocurrencies, more and more energy will be wasted, which poses a challenge to the future of cryptocurrencies. As an alternative to proof of work and to lower energy usage, proof of stake was introduced. Although proof of stake, which has been used in many different projects, it suffers from low performance quality and many other disadvantages. The Bither platform offers new protocols and a new infrastructure for transactions, whilst retaining the abilities of previous generations of cryptocurrencies. This provides a practical and useful solution to the problem of energy waste. The Bither protocol offers a new method for mining. In addition to being safe, the multi-mine capability of this new method makes it highly attractive for miners. By the miner's selection and approval, additional computational resources are driven to valuable and academic computation. Bither has many capabilities. For instance, for the first time in blockchain technology, the ability to define and run the underlying networks will be available on two modular and user-friendly layers. In other words, while the second layer of the previous blockchains could only be considered to be like numbers or fixed assets, in this new protocol they are transformed into mother chains with the ability to carry smart contracts. There is no need to pay any fees to perform a transaction on the second layer of the Bither platform. Each subnetwork is capable of handling its own transactions. In order to maintain higher security, a summary of these transactions is sent to Bither's main network. The next feature is the possibility of defining a third layer. This means that each branch in the second layer can have several designated internal tokens. Running this protocol helps designing projects and serves as a useful solution for holding companies. The ultimate goal for the Bither platform is to provide the latest generation of blockchain technology in an optimized form and to reduce the fundamental problems of current networks. Bither is decentralized by nature. Through the ability of defining second and third layer networks, Bither has an effective role in performance improvement and the separation of activities. Bither, the next generation of blockchains, an intelligent network of global development in science and technology.